All right, so we're gonna load into the Miasma, I'm sorry, the Throne World, and immediately make our way to the Miasma. Uh, by heading over to the left right here and making our way around. Uh, that skybox right there is what we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna be taking a much clearer look at. You can already tell it looks pretty cool, but uh, it's gonna be uh, a lot clearer when we get to where we're gonna go. So, I'm uh, gonna make our way all the way around to the back of the miasma. Wow, my game is stuttering. Hopefully that doesn't continue. Uh, so, all right, so we're going all the way to the back to the Witch's Echo, uh, which if you're looking at it on the map is all the way in the back of the miasma. It's all the way back here. Um, we're gonna head over here, watch this little hole right here. Don't fall down. Keep going down here. Uh, take this portal right here. Once you head in the portal, go to the right. And then up these stairs right here, this little block that comes out of the walls is kind of what you're looking for. That's what the room looks like. And it's this hole, this close hole right here. And then you're gonna add up, and just like that, you are completely out of the map. <laughs> Once you get out here, that structure up there is what we're looking for. Oh, we're gonna make our way across. You can do it however you want. If you wanna explore out here a little bit, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but this little edge right, or this little uh, path right here is the quickest, I would say. Uh, jump up on this, hop up here, use these awesome little uh, pieces that you can't actually see but are landings to land on. Jump up these little steps, go to the left right here, this hole is what you're looking for, mantle up here, oh. Jump up on this. Sometimes the lighting makes it hard to see. Oh my goodness, I'm floating just right past it. Jump up here. And we're just gonna kind of keep following this straight back. No real, like, true path or anything. Just keep going straight back. Uh, as a note, you can do this on any character. I am not meaning to jump here. Uh, you can do this on any character. Um, but it is, I would say, definitely the easiest to do on uh, Titan using sword flying with line rampants uh, or warlock with a sword and top tree dawn blade. But you can do it on a hunter. On a hunter. Uh, all right, so we're gonna make our way over here. Hit the load zone. Go to the right. This is why I say sword flying is the easiest because we're gonna go this way. Uh, and there's a much longer way that you'd have to go with a hunter. <laughs> Hit this little ledge right here. Hop around this way. Uh, and we're going to that piece down there. Do be sure to swing wide right a little bit because that little structure that I'm flying past right now um, does extend farther than you can actually see. And you'll hit it if you don't take it wide enough. But jump onto this rock down here and out of this platform and if you weren't aware and I'm sure you'll be able to see when I get there this is actually the uh, the raid or the, I'm sorry not the raid the strike uh, this is the new strike that is on the throne world we're actually inside one of the inside the inside of one of the temples of the strike mantle up here by jumping on the top step right there and then just keep jumping up. Keep jumping up, finding the little platforms. Hop this way. Uh, and then we're going up there, but I don't feel like switching to high jump to have to get up there, so. We're gonna take a little bit of a longer way. Hop up here, onto this, then onto this, and go all the way around this.
drop down on here. Uh, and then we come over here. Now we're on the side of the temple. And we're going to hop up here on this little track right here. You can stand on these. Jump onto the top of this. Ooh, almost fell. Uh, and then here we go up this. And you can see a little bit clearer what we're going to be looking at, but we are actually going to go all the way over there. So you can see it pretty much straight in front of you with absolutely nothing blocking. Um, so you can either jump up there and go across, or you can just go from right here and sword fly all the way across. On a, a warlock, you can pop Dawn and get across. On a hunter, um, why am I losing my jump? Oh no. Okay. Uh, but on a hunter, you do have to go to uh, this temple over here first. You have to just kind of like make the long way around. You can jump on those rocks and hit there. Uh, and then you'll be able to make it over here. Uh, and then you just got to run around to this side of the building and hop up on the stairs. I love that they put stairs for us here, even though we're not supposed to be here, out of bounds. I mean, this whole area is out of bounds, so the fact that stairs are here is actually kind of funny, but... Uh, also, kind of talking about the strike, that is the boss room right there of the strike. Just a little side note. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head around to this, uh, this little corner right here, and here you have the coolest skybox in the game with absolutely nothing blocking your view. So there you go. There it is right there.